This community, with so many proud traditions, has become stale over the last few years. And there comes a time in every community when a change is needed. Thank you. I'm so sorry I'm late. Where the hell have you been? I'm sorry. Not at all, Councillor Roberts. I'm sure we're all very grateful you could spare us the time. Now, I'm oh talking about God, real be late. No, it's real not a good idea. Real real and a change is most needed when those in power have grown complacent, when they have taken their positions for granted. Oh, and by the way, I'd like to congratulate Councillor Roberts on her tan she acquired while on a recent fact-finding council visit to Spain. <laughs> Vote for me, and I won't waste your money on foreign trips. What I will do is serve you with a vigour and a sense of purpose that I regret you have not seen in Weatherfield for some years. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Now, have you read the notes I prepared for you? The notes? Oh, come on, Audrey. Please tell me that you read the notes. Well, I hope you'll do your best for me and vote for me. No. Thank you. Shall we have some questions? Delighted? Audrey? What? Yes, yes, by all means. <laughs> yeah, I've got a question for Councillor Roberts about the current appalling state of the parks, and in particular, the children's playgrounds. Yeah. Yes, well, we've done what we can, but as with everything, it's down to money, and uh, the council at the moment are prioritising housing, so, frankly, I think it's a bit pointless to lay the blame at my door, sir. And what about this rape business? Isn't it time that the council made sure that there was more police on our streets? Yes, yes, that is absolutely my top priority. And I can assure you now that I, for one, will not be heading for the sun while villains prowl our streets. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Councillor Roberts is feeling unwell, so... No, please, ladies and gentlemen, the councillor is unwell. So I will address any questions as her campaign manager on her behalf. Now then, let's take these issues one at a time, shall we? Yes, sometimes mistakes are made. Councillor Roberts will be the first to admit that. Well, she doesn't need to admit it, does she? Because it's been on display for everybody here, hasn't it? Yeah. What about the years of commitment that Audrey has given and her late husband, Alf? I mean, does that not count for anything? It's too easy to rely on past glories. No, it's too easy to rely on easy promises by a very young, ambitious politician with an arsenal of glib phrases. <laughs> There's no need to get personal. Oh, really? I seem to remember you getting very personal when Council Roberts was sat here. If you want to dish it out, Mr Worthing, I suggest you learn how to take it. <laughs> Do you really want to throw away a great tradition of public service? Do you really want to exchange someone who's worked very hard for this community for a smooth talker in a shiny suit? I've only got one thing to say to you. Please, please, remember what you might be losing when you go to that ballot box. Thank you.